Welcome to How to Repair. In the previous video I showed you how to enter test mode. In this video I'm briefly going to show you how to take the machine apart and things to look for common faults. The first most common fault is people do not maintain the filters. I've written a lot about filters, keeping them clean uh, and maintaining them, cleaning all the dust and debris out of the machine. You have one filter there you also have a slide button at the front which you can press and this will open this panel once this panel is open we need to drop this down then you have another filter in here which needs to be maintained you also have the matrix which needs to be vacuumed out occasionally and you also have a small filter which goes through to the water collector to stop any fluff and debris being picked up in there all these need to be taken out to strip down the machine anyway. Make sure you clean them and hoover out the whole machine as you're doing the process. To take the lid off the machine, there are two screws at the back, but there is also a hidden screw inside the water dispenser. It's this one at the top. It actually goes into the lid. So take this one out first. Then turn the machine round and undo the other two screws. Right, we're going to take both sides of the machine off. I'm also going to show you the inspection cover for the pump assembly and also the fan assembly. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is take the lid off. These are torque screws. With the three screws undone, the lid will come away. And now we can start taking the machine apart. First two you need to do are at the top. Two on each side. Now we need to do the screws on each side of the machine at the back. To take the cover off the pump, we have one screw here, and some models there is a screw fitted here. This will then come away, and we have access to the pressure switch and also the pump where the water is pumped to the dispenser at the top and from the dispenser on the overflow on the return. If the water is full in the dispenser, water will return down and once this gets to a certain level, the switch will be activated and turn the actual uh, machine off. Once the back screws are done and the two at the top, the panel should lift up and come away. This is exactly the same as on the other side. On this side of the machine, we have the motor. We have the pulley wheel, which attaches to the motor. We have support wheels on each side of the drum. We have the compressor. We also have the capacitor, which you need to be careful of. Um, make sure you discharge it before handling it. This capacitor actually controls the compressor for start. To gain access to the front, to be able to take this front cover off, there are a couple of screws inside the compartment, but there is also one hidden screw in the side here. This needs to be undone. Then you need to open the door, press the button. There are two screws. One on the right, one on the top left. Now this panel will come away. There is also a locking bracket on each side so you will have to ease it off and there's two catches here and here that hold the panel in place. This will now expose the cooling fan. We'll show you all about that in test mode in a second when we test each component. To remove the other side panel, same as the other side, make sure the screws at the top are undone, the ones at the back. The panel will lift up 
and come away. On this side of the machine we have the cooling matrix and heating matrix which is hidden inside this box. I'm not going to show you this in this video because the whole drum has to come out of the machine for this to actually come off. Um, but what you can do is remove all this dust which is in here, give it a good clean out. And again you have two pulley wheels on each side of the drum, front and back here. And these are the pipes that run up to the dispenser at the top. In test mode we can test the pump and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. With all tumble dryers it's worth hoovering them out, making sure you get rid of all the dust. With the machine in test mode, uh, you can see how to get into test mode in the previous video, but you'll be able to go on to C2, which is the pump. Now using a small glass of water, you don't need to do a lot, you can pour a little in, which will siphon down to the pump on the return pipe. And just pour a little bit more in so it picks up. In a second or two this should start pumping the water that's at the bottom to the top which you can see here. So we'll turn it back. We've got enough water in there now and we can see that the pump is actually pumping the water from the condensing unit to the top. And this is all working perfectly. Without the tray in it'll be on a never-ending cycle. So to stop that happening you can just slide the container in and the water will fill into the container to get rid of it. Now C3 is actually anti-clockwise rotating and we're able to inspect the pulley wheels and also the drum to make sure there's no problems with that. C4 is giving us the fan motor at the bottom which we'll zoom in at now. And that's all working correctly. C5 is the motor turning in a clockwise rotation as you can see here. Again you can inspect the pulley wheels the two supporting the drum and the one on the jockey wheel. Now the next one is the compressor and we can actually turn the compressor on and we should be drawing about 2.5 amps uh, when the compressor comes on. That will continue rotating with the drum going in a clockwise rotation but the motor will actually start on the compressor. This is the capacitor down here for the uh, compressor and there's also a cutout uh, thermostat or overload thermostat on the compressor which I'll show you in a second but I'll just turn it on to C6 and now you can see the compressor has come on and it's not cutting out that means that the compressor is running by touching the compressor before it was running and after you can actually feel that the motor is running it's very hard to hear with the drum turning but when we turn it off in a second we will hear a gurgling sound from the gases which are coming back uh, under pressure so I'll just leave it run for a second you can hear this gurgling noise if you have a problem with the compressor there is a couple of tests that you can do. Uh, firstly, is there is a possibility that the start capacitor on the compressor has failed, or it is a possibility that the uh, cutout uh, or overload has possibly gone open circuit on the compressor, or the compressor itself has gone open circuit. Now, because this is filled with refrigeration, you will need a refrigeration engineer to change the compressor for you if it is faulty, but I'll show you the basic tests that you can do. Now by taking the cap off you can see the overload here. 
but before touching anything I'm just going to take the two terminals off the capacitor and make sure the capacitor is shorted. Now make sure whenever removing any wiring that you take a photograph of the wiring. So basically we can take these three terminals off. We don't need to do that one, just two will do us. And with the multimeter you're able to check the fields. So across one side of the motor we have 6.5. Across the other side we have 5.5. And across these two we should have slightly higher, 12. We can also test the overload relay or their stat on top of the compressor. This is a cutout in case the compressor gets hot or overloaded and we can put our one terminal on one side just making sure the meter is working and go on to the other side of the cutout and we've got continuity so we know power is flowing through to this perfectly. We know the compressor is good on this because we've already seen it running. Uh, as I said, the other possibility is a capacitor uh, which has gone open circuit, but we know it's all working so we don't have to worry about that. We know the motor's all working, so apart from any sensor failures, this tumble dryer is in good condition. One other thing, there is an NTC sensor that can regulate the uh, temperature or takes a reading sorry, of the temperature of the gas going through the refrigeration system, and that's at the front down here. I'll zoom in for you. It is very awkward to get out. Uh, that's our little baby there. And I haven't got the resistance reading of this NTC sensor at room temperature. Uh, but when I get it, I will put it on the web page for you. On this machine, you've only got one fan blade, which is at the back here. Uh, this can easily be undone by doing the screws. Once that's all undone, just need to press down the two buttons, one on either side. And there's our fan blade. That's all in good condition and it's clean and tidy. But just in case you've ever got to get access, it's a 10mm bolt and then it'll slide off the shaft. Now to get into the pump housing, the only reason why this would ever fail, one, the pump is clogged or burnt out, or two, maybe it's a possibility that the sensor has gone. There's one screw in here. And then the housing can come up, but you'll need to disconnect the pipes from here and pull them up. So I'm not going to disturb that. It's all pretty clean down there, so there should be no blockages or anything else. So there we go, we've got the machine back together, it's all running perfectly and as you can see we've got an ampage being drawn at the moment of 2.6 uh, which means that the compressor is running and that means heat exchange is actually taking place and the clothes are drying. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Any information that anyone comes about with regards to the individual uh, test mode functions that I didn't know about, please post them on the website for other people to see. And if you've got any questions, please use the question uh, area at the bottom of the page on the tutorial and I'll try and answer where possible. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. Please remember to support the website by buying parts off us. And if this video or the previous video did help you, do remember you can always support the website by clicking on the Buy Paul Lebeer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.